Do you know there's actually one time in the Gospel, the Gospel of St. John, where Jesus cooks? Yes, Jesus cooks. After the resurrection, when the fishermen go back out to their old ways, because Jesus is gone. So they go out and they're fishing, and who appears on the shore but Jesus saying, have you caught anything yet? Bring it in. And when, this, when, they, when the apostles come in with their boats, with the fish in it, Jesus is already on the shore, and it says he's cooking fish over a charcoal fire. I'm not going to do a charcoal fire today, although I do love charcoal, but today I'm going to make an easy fish dish, and this is something that you can vary in any way you want, really. This is a little bit of cooked ginger and cooked garlic. I use that because both of these things are very aromatic. I'm going to put some fish on here. Now this is raw uh, codfish. I like codfish, it holds up very well. I'm going to put a little bit of capers on here. Capers are very salty and add a tang to it, as do tomatoes. A little tomato here. And uh, that juice too, we'll put the little juice in there. And then I got some lemons that I've soaked in dry vermouth. And those are going to add, again, that acidity you want because this particular fish is very rich. It's a rich fish, cod, I find it to be at least. A little bit of oregano on the top. And I always like the, I, I grow oregano, but I like the, the dried oregano is so much different than the fresh. And a little bit of, I put in some uh, red pepper flakes, which I'm kind of getting more and more addicted to as time goes on. I want to... I want to fold that into a nice, tight little packet there. We take our fish out of the oven. It's been cooking for about 10 minutes. Fish shoots about 10 minutes per inch of fish at about 350, 300 degrees. You don't want to overcook it. And here we go. Oh, I'm going to slide that right out of our paper. Nice and hot. Ooh. Now, you probably won't want to eat the ginger, but, you know, it's not going to hurt you if you do. I didn't. I did not, uh, I say not to eat it. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, hot, hot, hot. I say you may not want to eat it because uh, I didn't peel it, but you could peel it, of course. Oh, and all those nice aromatics there. I'm just going to finish it with a tiny bit of salt. And so we've got the, a little bit because the capers have got a lot of salt. So I love that story where Jesus is on the seashore. He has a charcoal grill. And I wonder, you know, well, it was the Mediterranean. Did he use capers? Did he, he must have used salt. Uh, how about, uh, I guess there was no balsamic vinegar. Lemons, there would have been lemons. So isn't it great when you know that Jesus actually cooked fish for his own apostles? You know, what did he use on that fish? Did he use lemons? It was the Mediterranean, there must have been salt. Who knows what else? But it's a great thing, it's a great dish. And it's great to know that Jesus walked among us as a man and even cooked fish as the Son of God. Can you believe that? I do. God bless you all, and that's what's cooking today.